Okay, everybody, fresh for your Parker and the Man page on yournews.com. Kind of a weird deal. Uh, you may have heard the story or seen it yesterday uh, on uh, Wednesday about the Arena Football League going bye-bye. Say goodbye to the Arena Football League. It looks like bankruptcy is in their future. They have folded the league, at least temporarily, which means they probably won't come back. They're thinking maybe 2010 or 11, something might happen. Uh, about 15 years ago, when we had the Detroit Drive here, very successful Arena Football League franchise, won uh, four Arena Bowls before the Detroit Fury showed up in the 2000s at the Palace. At Joe Louis Arena, 14, 15, 16,000 people used to come out and watch the Drive do their thing. Some really interesting characters, Arch Schleister, John Corker, uh, Nova Bojovic, uh, John Langlow, former Spartan, Jeff Wiska, a lot of guys played in that thing, George LaFrance. Uh, well, Tim Markham was the old coach. He's old now. He wasn't old back then. And it was about 15 years ago, we had this weird conversation outside Joe Louis Arena. He was leaving for Tampa to coach the Storm, where he stayed until, what, last month, when he finally retired from uh, Arena League coaching. Uh, he said in his southern drawl, Mark, tell the story. Don't let him forget about us here, the Detroit Drive. And I'm thinking, okay, well, fine. Well, here we are upon us, the end of the league. I'm doing as Tim Markham asked. I'm telling you the story. You can read about it. Check it out. Maybe it'll bring up some fond memories. Maybe you went to games back then. Maybe you were an Arena Football League fan. You liked the short field. You liked the little the, the hockey rink atmosphere, the uh, the goal posts that were like this. You know, they used to kept the kick. Novo had to kick like this through this thing. Um, that's how that's how narrow they were. Um, so the story is being told. So check it out if you will on uh, the Parker and the Man page right here at yournews.com. Uh, in your tweets and feet section, uh, Eli Manning's new deal with the Giants. You thought Peyton Manning's deal was rough. You thought that was hard to swallow in this economically ravaged time. Uh, his brother Eli just topped him. Uh, now the highest paid player, basically, with $97 million coming the next six years. That means the Manning family, the two quarterbacks, right around 200 mil. Uh, for the two guys, for Peyton and Eli Manning. Now, Eli Manning did win a Super Bowl, and as I mentioned, you can read about it. You know, thank Matt Stafford for that, Matthew Stafford. Um, when you're going to give a guy who hasn't done anything $78 million, what do you think the guy who won a Super Bowl a couple years ago is going to want? Uh, well, it turns out the price is about, you know, almost $100 million. <laughs> so his new deal, you can check that out on the Parker and the Man page as well, fresh for this day. Uh, Twitter, 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 Twitter in the NFL and the NBA, they're really doing the leagues uh, a number on guys who are going to be Twittering, who are going to be doing this all day, texting all day. Where's my phone? Hold on. Doing this all day. They're going to be texting and Twittering and tweeting and do that. Cover up your eyes with it. Um, they want to get these out of the deal. They want to stop the nonsense early. Uh, Charlie Villanueva, who's now with the Pistons, uh, did that with the Bucks in a game against the Celtics. Luckily, Milwaukee won, uh, where he was Twittering during the game. So... They want to try to get rid of that, uh, put the kibosh, the kibosh on that early. Both the NFL and the NBA are taking the lead on that. I don't know if the NHL even knows what Twittering or tweeting is, and Major League Baseball doesn't seem to care, so at least not yet. Uh, so uh, you can read a little bit about that. Also, Brendan Shanahan has signed a one-year deal with, check it out if you don't know, uh, who did Shanny sign with for his 22nd year in the National Hockey League? Bound and determined, I think, to score 700 goals. He's about 44 away. Uh, but Shanny is back, baby. And Jim Ball Silly, Silly being the key word there, this guy desperate to own a hockey team, desperate to own the Phoenix Coyotes and moving to Hamilton, Ontario. Boy, I am so tired of Hamilton, Ontario. If you're watching the, the webcam in Hamilton, enough. Either get your team or don't, but we've heard about it for, what, 20 years, two decades? Well, Ball Silly is your hero because he's trying to get the team there. Uh, he was rejected by the NHL last week, but a uh, U.S. bankruptcy court judge says, no. Nope. This guy's going to have his shot. They're going to do an auction on September the 10th, and whatever the best bid is, we'll get the team. And that means moving him out of Phoenix, so be it. The NHL wants to keep a team in Arizona and basically wants to keep Jim Balsillie from owning one. So it's a big uh, you know, a little battle right now between the two, between the, actually bankruptcy court and the National Hockey League. See if Balsillie wins that. So there you go. It's all on the Parker the Mad page, yournews.com. I'm Mark Wilson with your webcam, so check it all out. The Arena Football League, let's go back in the day. Let's think back to an earlier time when we had the Detroit Drive and also on Eli Manning, some Twittering, Shanahan, and Jim Ball. Silly. Silly being the key word, as I mentioned there. Happy navigating, everybody. Check it all out.